Hi everyone, I'm Kara, and for today's craft, we are going to be making crayon art. This whole canvas I made a couple years ago is all made from melted crayons that I melted with my hair dryer. The supplies you'll need for this craft are a blank canvas. If you don't have one, you could use a plain piece of paper. You'll also need crayons and of course a hair dryer to melt the crayons. The first time I made this craft, I just decided to melt a bunch of crayons onto my canvas and make kind of an abstract ocean or sky type of motif. So I decided to put a design on my canvas instead of just covering the whole thing with color. I made a K for my name Kara and I cut it out of construction paper and glued it on here. At the end of the craft, I'm gonna take the pink paper off and the K will be white underneath where and everywhere around it will be filled with melted crayon. I'm gonna have my canvas match my room. So I chose a lot of colors that match my gray and purple room. So I have a lot of grays, purple, I have one green, a white, and a pink. And the first thing you do is you take the wrappers off of all of your colors so that you can melt them easily with your hair dryer. Now we're gonna start to melt our crayons. There are a couple different ways you could do this. You could break up the crayon into little tiny pieces or use a cheese grater or a pencil sharpener to get little shavings and place them all along your canvas. Or some people like to glue them on the canvas and just put the heat on here so that the color drips down. For me, I like to hold them in one hand and have my hair dryer on the other so I have more control over where I'm putting the color. So with that time lapse, I just did a tiny bit of color on my canvas and it only uh, melted a little bit of the top. So this craft is gonna take you some time and um, I'll do most of it in time lapse so you don't have to watch me melting every single crayon. If you want it to go quicker, I suggest cutting out the little pieces of the crayons and placing them in multiple places on your canvas so maybe you can melt them all at the same time. But for me, I like to do them separately. Hi everyone! So melting my crayon art took about 30 minutes to complete this whole canvas. As you can see, I'm wearing a different outfit and it's been about a week since I completed this because I ran into a snag. The monogram that I put underneath my crayon art would not come up. I made my melted crayons way too thick and I couldn't get underneath to pull off my monogram. I tried cutting it out. I tried permanent marker on top and then I also tried to put another K on top of it in paper which I liked but it was all right. Um, I don't want to start over so what I did was I took another color of crayon, a light green, and I colored in the K. And it's very subtle and I really like how it turned out. So here's my finished product. Sometimes the do-it-yourself projects don't go as we plan, but there's always a way to figure it out. If you have any questions about this crayon craft, you can direct them to Kara at the Tuxedo Park Library Facebook or in the comments on this YouTube video or at the Tuxedo Park Youth Services Instagram. Thanks for joining.